Hello, this is G420 Goddess, Tarot for the Golden Goddesses and Gods, back with another general love message for my beautiful collective. I've already cleared the space of all negative energy. I've blessed the cards. I already pulled. And the first card out was the Hermit card. Some of you guys could be in retreat. You guys are doing introspection within yourself. You're going within and doing some healing. The next card out was the judgment card in reverse. This could be behind choices and actions that you made, and now you're dealing with the consequences. So that's why some of you guys are in hermit mode. Holy Spirit is saying, get out of your way. It's going to be okay with the hangman in reverse. You know this. You're not stuck. You know what you got to do to get out of this rut. Get out of your own head. Okay. The next card, the Hierophant. Some of you guys could have gotten spiritual guidance from a religious leader. Some kind of therapy. I can't believe we have four major arcanas out in a row. Uh oh. The next card out is the world card. So whatever guidance you got, it helped you put this cycle to an end. Excuse me. And I could be talking to an uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or somebody who just embodies the Queen of Wands. She's very outgoing, independent, beautiful, sexy, confident, okay? She's brutally honest with the truth, and she's someone who's very loyal. Some of you guys could have got involved with this King of Cups, <laughs> The King of Cups is about emotions. Normally, they're really good at balancing, you know, between the head and the heart. But his back is to her. Look at this. This Queen of Swords. I see a third-party situation going on here. Some of you... Queen of Wands could have got with this King of Cups who was already involved with this Queen of Swords who he dominates because she's in reverse. She's at her weakest state. Ooh wee. That couldn't have been no fun. Absolutely. Two of Cups. Well, the King of Cups was just... <laughs> You want a cup? You want a cup? Yeah. This king of cups. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Five of swords. This started some kind of competition. Somebody felt backstabbed and betrayed. Yeah, there was some deceit going on. That queen of wands found out about it. Absolutely. What did I say? Two of Swords. Once you found out about this Queen of Swords and that he had already offered her a cup, it left her blindsided. And with the Ace of Pentacles, the Most High said, I got a financial opportunity for you. I got a new beginning. And it's going to be about your money.
and you're going to be the victor. Oh, yes. When you concentrate on yourself, when you invest in yourself, you can only win. Look, you guys are winning. I don't know who I'm speaking with, but you guys are winning, especially if you're focused on your money and not this bullshit. <clears throat> yeah, now somebody's stuck in their head, contemplating their choices that they made. That's no longer you. You already did the work. You already in the healing phases. This King of Cups is stuck now. Yeah, because he knows you were really fair with him. He was the one who couldn't balance this shit out. See? He was breadcrumbing you because he knew he was already involved. But that's okay because you about your money. Exactly. This became a burden. This became too much, too heavy. All that lying and betraying. Look, a broken heart. That's why the Queen of Wands went in to retreat. She had to think about those choices and actions she made regarding this King of Cups. And that led to heartbreak. So what she do? Got on her motherfucking chariot and got the hell up up out of there. Yes, she did. <laughs> bye bye. She went. She retreated. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm she went into hermit mode. Got herself together. Put that cycle to an end. The Most High offered her. <laughs> Beautiful financial opportunities. She took advantage of it. Okay. And with the nine of pentacles. Fulfillment. You getting your money on. Because the most high offered you. An opportunity. And you took it. I can't even make this up. Not only did he give you wish fulfillment. He gave you total completion. You are stable. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. And with the next card out, the Page of Pentacles, the King of Cups cannot come and offer you anything. Okay? You, you, you pass this. You pass this one Pentacle. Okay? You pass that. So that's a no. With the Death card, Absolutely. Okay? You put an end to that bullshit. You have moved on. And with your strength and courage, you have everything you need right here. Because you took advantage of what the Most High offered you. You invested that time and energy in yourself. When you put all of that to an end, it was like a rebirth. Brand new. And the most high say, don't even worry about it. Because look, look. He's going to send you your king of wands. Okay? To all my queens, he got your king. Okay? A match made in heaven. Look at there. And y'all both are very compatible. Very passionate. And at the bottom of the deck, we had the Ace of Wands. Baby, this sex is going to be off the hook. Can we say passion? Mm -hmm. Lustful passion. Okay. Okay. You got that good dick? You got that good pussy. And it's happily ever after. Until next time, my beautiful collective. This is G420 Goddess. Tarot for the Golden Goddesses and Gods. Everybody, until next time, stay blessed.